I know that I went back and forth with drawing and building, and uh, I don't know. I, I well, I think one of the reasons I was very shy when I was young. Um, when I would go, you know, my mom would say, you know, going, you know, some bread down the street or what have you. People were coming that way. I'd duck and try to go another way to get there. Um, and um, I think I wanted to, you know, in some ways go into this fantasy world with these puppets and stuff like that. So I started building. Uh, I think one of my first puppets was like a Mickey Mouse figure puppet. And then from there, I started going to hobby shops. My mom would take me to hobby shops, and we'd buy, we'd buy fake fur and felt and styrofoam balls and, you know, whatever I could find to, uh, to build a puppet. And then I would utilize some of our clothes, even that, you know, was, that my mom was either going to throw away or what have you. Um, you know, I'd put a, you know, shirt on a puppet or something like that. Um, so, I mean, I really started getting into it, um, I think really because of watching Kuk Lafran and, and Sesame Street, you know, really wanting to build puppets at that point, not really knowing if I would perform with them or not. At the beginning, of course, I was just mimicking, I was just, you know, trying to build something that I saw from Sesame or, you know, uh, I didn't really start, I didn't really build Kuk Lafran and Ollie puppets, I, I really went right into just as soon as I saw, you know, a, a Muppet. I really started building that way, or trying to anyway, the way I could do it without really being in, at the shop or something like that. So um, it really started, you know, it went, I think I went right into it, you know, just building. And then actually I started performing it in local, you know, we had a, uh, like a recreation hall not too far away from the house. And, and uh, I remember there was a, a lady um, who was, um, who was uh, uh, actually selling candy out of her house. And I thought, well, this is a great way to get an audience, and buy some candy, and, <laughs> and sway the kids off the playground to come in and watch the show. It was based on the first puppet show. I, I found this book about a little, a little white terrier with, a, um, with rain slickers on, and he had this adventure on a ship somewhere. So I built the, the terrier, you know, and, and found some yellow felt and made a you know, slicker, and, and uh, used some blocks in one of the recreation halls and made a little ship and, and you know, and, and I think said some of the lines of the book and that was about it and gave out candy. And <laughs> well, they, they enjoyed the candy, I know that, but I don't know if they enjoyed the show or not. <laughs> when I started going to high school and stuff like that, you know, and I was still doing puppets and because I was at that point I was doing like little shows around the area and stuff like that. Um, I got teased, you know, you sleep with your puppets, blah, 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 you know, and all that stuff. So, I mean, you know, it wasn't until um, I really got into high school and started, I met a, 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 a guy who became a friend of mine. Uh, his name was Tony Barty. And at that point, I started building puppets from um, the music of the day. You know, Earth, Wind, and Fire was happening at the time. So, and then the commercials. You know, um, I would utilize that to put in my shows and stuff. And, and, and also then utilizing friends as far as, you know, seeing personality and saying, you know, that, that, you know, that, that guy would actually be a, a, you know, a, a good puppet, you know, version of. So I, I actually built a puppet called Barty that was based on Tony Barty. I built a puppet called Skylo and this guy that was like very, very popular at the time, you know, when I was going to school. Afros were, were in, like you're huge, to the point they would get so big that they would fall in the middle. And uh, I couldn't grow one. And, but Skylo was this very popular guy because he his, his head could do that. And I built this puppet um, on, on Skylo, you know, this, this guy Skylo. That was, of course, his nickname. I, never, I can't even remember what his real name was, but, but uh, um, I built this puppet and actually it, had, it didn't look like him. It just, it's, it's interesting how I kind of based the characters on the personality instead of the look of, of the person. Because the, the puppet that I made of, of, based on Skylar was really this really, really cool um, looking puppet with, with a mustache and a bald head. And he sang Lou Rawls songs. <laughs> um, so I don't know where I got that from, but it came out at Skylar. And then Barty, Tony was just a crazy guy. Just really crazy and funny jokester, and and I uh, I remember finding this orange blanket and making up, you know, the head um, out of this orange blanket, and I got my grandmother's old wig, which was this gray peppered wig, and put it on Barty, and uh, 
uh, made like a dicky that was a white turtleneck and found this this old dec decrepit, um, really disgusting looking um, plaid navy blue and cream uh, jacket and I put that on him and that became Barty. And uh, actually Barty is the one that really got me into television. It was the first character that uh, that I did for television, actually. But uh, I mean, it was it was fun to to, to utilize. <laughs> friends that way, and they were kind of flattered about it. The unfortunate thing with Skylo is that um, that Thursday, uh, it was a Thursday I thought about, you know, doing a, um, you know, a puppet version of him. And uh, that Monday he, he had passed away. He uh, drowned um, in, uh, in the Chesapeake Bay with a friend of his. They thought there was a bridge being made and they thought that they kind of dared each other to see how, who could get to the pillar of the bridge. Um, and what happened is they got halfway there and one panicked. I think it was uh, um, Skylo panicked and pulled his friend down. They both drowned. So he didn't get to, unfortunately, he didn't get to see the puppet. Um, but it was kind of a tribute to him. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those puppets anymore. That they're totally, you know, toast and destroyed and stuff like that. Some of the puppets, actually, my mom and dad still keep. But uh, Bart T went to a whole, you know, rejuvenation constantly, kind of like the way Big Bird did on Sesame Street when he first started. And Big Bird was a pinhead, really. Not, not, it looked like a, a wet chicken. And then, you know, it, it evolved. So Barty did that because of television, too, because of, you know, I, I had to keep rebuilding him because he wouldn't last for, for television.